Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a total brand review. So what these videos are is I'm going to go through my collection, look at all of the products that I have under that one brand, and give you guys a full little hot or not mini reviews of the products that I have for the brand. So my first brand, total brand review I'm doing, as you can tell, is Urban Decay. So let's first start off with the obvious eyeshadows. Urban Decay is really great at doing eyeshadows. I have bought a couple palettes in the past, have given one away, but these are, they have amazing quality eyeshadows. The best one, as you guys may know, is the Urban Decay Naked palette. This is just a really great basic palette to start off with for high end. This is my first high end eyeshadow palette and I love these shades. Like, look how gorgeous they are. My favorite colors on the Urban Decay Naked is the color Sin, which I will swatch it for you guys right there. Oh, might be too bright. It is a gorgeous champagne color. I also like Half Baked, which I'll swatch right there. Oh, the sun might be too bright. But anyway, these are gorgeous shades and I love them. Definitely recommend out of all of the Urban Decay pal eyeshadow palettes to get the first one, Urban Decay Naked. I also picked up the Urban Decay um, Wizard of Oz kind of collection. I got the Glenda palette. That one was way too sparkly for me. I gave that away in a Products I Regret Buying video. I'll link that down below. But that one was just not as great of quality as the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I also, in the craze, picked up my Urban Decay Naked 3. This is more of a rosy toned palette, as you can tell. Um, I do not reach for this one as much. I feel like a lot of these shades kind of do blend in together and are not as standout and significant as the Urban Decay Naked. As you can tell, the Naked one was a lot more diverse in the colors and this one is more of the mauve rosy colors, which I do like and I do use this every now and then, but um, if you were to buy a Naked palette, I'd buy the Naked one. The other palette I most recently got was the Urban Decay Ammo palette. I saw this. This was on sale at Sephora. I really do like this palette. It has some colors that I do not get in a lot of my eyeshadow palettes or just singles and duos. So this is the Urban Decay Ammo palette. I liked this for mainly this blue color right here called Shattered. It is so pretty on the eyes. As you can tell, it's gorgeous. And I love these colors. These are perfect for a pop of color in your eyes. With You can use with the Naked palette or with any of your other palettes just for, like I said, a pop of color. I got a Sephora's Favorites for Christmas and I'm so happy. They gave me this little single Urban Decay and Sin. I have not used this because I still have it in my Urban Decay Naked palette. But this is that first color I swatched right here, that champagne -y color, and I love it. So glad I have a single of this. Let's see. For continuing with eyes, I have a bunch of their eyeliners. These are their Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. These are nice, I guess, nice pencil eyeliners. I just don't reach for pencil eyeliners as much as I've been reaching for their liquid eyeliners. I have tried Urban Decay's liquid eyeliner and really do like it. However, I think I like the Stila Stay All Day liquid eyeliner over this one. But I'll go ahead and show you guys swatches of these. Um, this is not in their main line, but this is the Urban Decay 24-7 in black velvet. They had a velvet line, which these are more matte colors, but I feel like they just don't glide on as well as their other ones. So that is a black velvet right there. Um, like I said, it just doesn't glide on my eyes um, for my top. I normally use this for under my waterline, but I don't prefer the black velvets. This next color is Urban Decay's in Mainline. This is a gorgeous dark blue color right there. I love putting this mainline color underneath my waterline. It is a great blue one. It does stay. It's very pigmented. This next color is Empire. 
I really have not reached for this Empire color. It's a purple color. It really is pretty. It's lot, um, glided on my hands really nice. I definitely need to pull that one out and use that more in my collection. This is one that everyone probably has tried. This is the Urban Decay in Zero. This is a really nice black eyeliner I use from under eye, but as you can tell compared to the black velvet, the Zero is not as dark black as the Urban Decay black perversion, I think it was. Black velvet, sorry. So, um, it just, it makes you think a little bit. Should you get black velvet? Personally, I would, looking at these swatches, get the black velvet, but knowing how hard it is to put on my eyes, I will continue to get Urban Decay Zero if I'm looking for a black one. This next color is Urban Decay Smog. It is a really nice kind of goldy brown color. I know if you can see the sheen to it, but this is a really nice liner. I like using it in the summer and even in the fall. This next one is Urban Decay Demolition. It is a pretty dark brown color right there. Um, it actually swatches better than the Urban Decay Zero. I also have Urban Decay Rockstar. This came with a palette too, I believe. It's a purple color too. Compared to the, what color was the other one? Empire color, I would reach for the Rockstar eyeliner, which is up here over that other Empire color. And then the last Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil is in UZ, which is a gray color. Looks like that. So those all, again, are the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. Personally, I would get Rockstar and I would get that brown one again with Mainline. So I'd get, my top favorite is Demolition, Mainline, and Rockstar. These are the three Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners that I would recommend. Again, it's that main line. It is Rockstar up here and the dark brown right there. Those are the best ones I would recommend for the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencils. Okay, the next thing I have here, I have two of these. Um, these are deluxe samples. They're the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Badder, Blacker Mascara. I have done a review on this. I will link it down below. This is a really great mascara. It is not waterproof though, so be careful with that. I am wearing it on my lashes today. It's a big, fluffy, natural fiber brush. And these, um, like I said, I'm wearing it today. It gives a really nice, voluminous look and a little bit of length. But I really do like this mascara and totally would pick up a full size once I keep stop getting these deluxe sizes, which I'm totally okay with. You guys all know that. Um, I have a couple of the Urban Decay Primer Potions. This one was a sample I have not tried yet. This is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This, um, I, I have heard, is very similar to the Urban Decay Original. It's just anti-aging. Don't know what that means. Haven't tried it. So I can't really tell you guys, but this is the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer. I have purchased this before, and these come with a lot of their palettes. I do really like this Original Eyeshadow. It is Eyeshadow Primer. It is a really nice one, and I like that they have updated their packaging to a squeezy tube over the little hourglass like mascara kind of thing that they were doing but this is a really great eyeshadow primer I totally recommend trying a sample of this if you have not and then my ultimate favorite is their Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is in the color Sin I believe yes Sin so this is a really nice shimmery eyeshadow primer base so let me Swatch it. I'll swatch it right here. So that's that. And when you blend it out, it just gives a gorgeous sheen to your eyes as the base. Like, look at that. It's gorgeous. So I love that as a base for any of like their shadows in Urban Decay Naked or Naked 3 or just in general. It's gorgeous. 
Um, let's continue. I have tried out a sample of this foundation and loved it and got a full size for my birthday. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup and my shade is 3.5. This is a really light to medium coverage foundation. I have used this in the summer. It has a pump and is a really great foundation for me personally. I have normal to dry skin and this does a great job at coverage and it just it doesn't make your skin tacky feeling or anything like that. Definitely try a sample of this and I bet you guys will love it if you like light to medium coverage foundations. Then lastly for Urban Decay I have a couple lip products, not really. Um, this first one is the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Glenda. I have really fallen in love with this. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It is a really nice color on the lips, just right there. And it's like it is, like it says, it's super saturated. So it gives a nice color, but it's also a glossy look to your lips, which I really have loved with these. I have not tried any of the other super saturated pencils, but I definitely will look into it. I also received um, this from, I think, Ipsy, and I have not tried them yet. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in Ozone. It is a clear, it looks like it would be white, but it's a clear lip pencil that you can use underneath high pigmented lipsticks or lip glosses. And it came with these two, like, I think these were like their, I've, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but they're, they're little lip glosses. This first color is in the color Fail Bait. It's a pink and then Bittersweet, which is a purple. I have not tried these yet but we'll look into doing those and you'll see them in the empties or a haul if I decide I really like them. But overall for Urban Decay, they do really great job with eyeshadows and I really do like their primer potions. Their eyeliners are nice, however I feel like overall for you could get something similar at the drugstore and they're not super special. I do recommend trying their foundation and mascara, however. So if I were to pick my top three things to get from Urban Decay Naked, um, it would be Urban Decay Naked Palette, of course. Then it would be the Sin, Urban Decay Sin Primer Potion. This just makes your eyeshadow like a step up and shimmery and gorgeous. And then the foundation I have been loving. Those are the top three things I would recommend from Urban Decay. If you have tried any of these products or any of their other products and think I would like them, let me know down below what I should try. And I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.